Hey guys, it's Taku. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today we are opening up Blackpink's Born Pink album. This is the pink version of it. And I wanted to just get this out of the way because this I bought from uh, K-Town for You, I believe. And using their like discount code for uh, like blinks. And it came with this poster that's like really big. <laughs> And it's really cool, but I just, I couldn't fit it all in the frame. So I just wanted to show you that it did come with a poster and it did come with a couple of um, like shop exclusive photo cards. So here are these, we'll just open these together. I've opened my single digi packs. I got them signed from the official US store. So if you haven't watched that video, go check it out. It's really cool uh, to have Blackpink signature. And then these are the shop exclusive photo cards. So. Let's see, we got Rosie and, oh, so pretty. Ah. So here we got Jenny and Rosie, lovely. And yep, they just look like that. And I'll put these off to the side now and we'll open the album. I've had this sitting for like a whole week because I haven't had time to record an unboxing and sit down. And by the way, the plastic is so chunky. It's like so cheap sounding, I hate it. <laughs> so we'll just, Ugh, that's so loud. Okay, we've got past that together. This is the album though. It looks to be the same kind of build that they did uh, La Lisa in, and I really like that album. So they have a seam going along the side. It actually looks a lot like um, BTS's um, Dream World album with literally the pink seam in the middle. So, and then of course you've got the fangs at the top for Pink Venom, which I really like. I think it's just a really cool album. And then we open it. Oh, and I've not seen anyone's unboxings of this, so a lot of this, or all of this pretty much is gonna be new to me. I don't know what concepts there are. I don't know what the album includes. I, I just don't know. So it looks like we'll be starting with the disc and it's a really reflective pink disc. So there's that. It looks like mine might've fallen off the foam track. Oh, wait, maybe there's just not one. Maybe it just sits there. So there's the CD and here are, let's see, we've got inclusions and I don't know where the photo cards are. Oh, okay, fun fact. So this is, let's start with this. This is the lyric sheet or at least the um, kind of like the album, like credits and stuff like that. I think, yeah, lyrics are on the back. The Digipack albums are supposed to come with it, I think. Someone left a comment very kindly and they were like, hey, you didn't open the accordion like lyric sheet for the album. And I was just like, wait there was an accordion sheet and i like looked through my albums and there i couldn't find one and so when i looked through the like other people's unboxing videos of the individual member digipacks i found out that some people got it and then some people like literally just didn't and i didn't know what was up with that i didn't know if it was like if you got it from a certain shop it came with it turns out it was like completely random so some people have it some people don't i i don't know because i pre-ordered mine so early in advance so I, I just, I don't know, I don't have it, but I do have one, so that's kind of cool. I think we'll do the photo book next. And we'll just take a look here. My favorite concept is the one that came in the individual member digipacks, but let's take a look at what this has in store for us. So, oh, there's a light, that's kind of annoying. But, oh, Jisoo is so pretty. I'm Jisoo biased. Took a long time for me to get here and then realize that. But I love all of them. I mean, I, there's, it's it's hard to like pick when there's only four. I love every single member. I think they're the prettiest people on the planet. They are just killing the gang. There's a truck driver outside, really annoying. Don't like that. Don't know how long it'll be here, but we'll keep rolling on with this very pretty concept. And I like the dress. This is really nice. The soft pink color also is like, it's not an obnoxious pink. It's very like black pink, pink color. And wow, we're just getting all of the GC photos up front, which I'm not complaining about. <laughs> so I wonder if they just have it segmented then into four. So here we've got Jenny. And of course she looks amazing. I like the eye like stickers, like the um, gem stickers that they have kind of glued on there. It's really pretty. And what's your guys' favorite track on the album? I'm not gonna lie, I'm still a sucker for Pink Venom. I think Pink Venom is amazing. Uh, I, Shutdown has grown on me a lot. I thought it was a banger when it came out and then I find myself listening to it more and more after 
the um, kind of like promotion of the music video. I really like it. I also like Tally. I think Tally's good. Um, type of Girl has some really boss lyrics in it. And so that one's also really nice. And then, um, let's see, there's also Yeah, 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 which we can credit Jisoo and that. Gotta love that. And there's also Ready for Love. Ready for Love, of course, we already had in a music video for a long time before this. And it was teased a very long time ago. And some people write it off as just like really basic, generic pop music. Oh, wow. Okay, so we moved on to Rosé. Um, some people write off Ready for Love as really generic pop music, but I think it's a nice send off for the album. Um, given that it was teased so long ago and it's finally like on a, on a physical album but also that like the previous like Blackpink's The album ended with um, uh, let's see is it You Never Know? I think that was the name of the track and I, I don't know it's just, they're, the two albums are entirely different vibes like this one has so much more experimentation in it I feel like which is really good for them there's a range of, you know, ballads, like in The Happiest Girl. God, that song makes me weep. <laughs> that came from the heart. You already know when they sang that. Um, but you have, like, songs like that to uh, Tally, which is, you know, totally, like, out of my league. Oh, pretty. Speaking of out of my league, here is Lisa's. I gotta keep going. I don't know why I'm taking so long with this. Oh, Wow. So it looks like they are kind of just doing all four up front. I don't know if each album, they probably do, each album probably has a different concept. I don't think it's just the outsides that are different, but I could be wrong. I have no idea, and I'm eager to find out. I like the long hair. The two-toned hair is also really cool. So it's hard to figure out what's in the set. I think it's just like a bunch of random things, actually. Yeah, it's like a bunch of random pink things. So, I guess stereotypical girl things. And then here's the end of the album. So, there's that. And I now have the last thing, which is the inclusions here. Looks like it opens out this way. They've been really promoting the physical albums hard, though. Like, they literally had a whole skit where Blackpink, like, went into Target and found their albums there. And I just thought that was really neat, so... Oh, wow, okay, I wonder if it's individual member, so we're just gonna, we're gonna go with it. Ah, okay. So if this is individual member, I got Jisoo for my postcard, which is really cool. So, yay for that. And then I also got, let's see, this is a larger postcard. I got, uh, oh, it's also glossy. So this is like matte, and then this is like glossy. So this is lovely Lisa. Look at those boots, though. Oh my god. And she got nails to kill. So, super cool. Okay, and then it looks like it comes with a sticker that says Born Pink on it. And, oh, oh, we got three cards, okay. And I don't ever know, because I see that they're Polaroids, I don't ever know if the Polaroids are exclusive or if they are, like every album comes with them, but we have, oh my God, we have Jenny, oh yay. So here is Jenny's um, kind of like Polaroid type photo card. We also have, oh my god, a Jisoo Polaroid, no way. I was telling in the last one how like the individual member album was the first time I ever had of it like a Jisoo photo card. So this is really cool. And then the photo card I got for this album is Rosé and look, this is such a cool photo card idea, like the, the mirror selfie. I've never seen this actually before. Maybe there are other idols who have done this, but I've never seen a mirror selfie. So... Love it, and she's wearing, this is the concept that's in the individual member albums. This is my favorite. It's like swords and leather and really cool stuff. So this is uh, the Born Pink album. This is the pink version. Guys, let me know which version you got. Um, let me know if you have a favorite track. And let's talk about it because, yeah, Blackpink comeback is here, and it's really cool. So thanks so much for watching, and till next time.